Welcome back to part two of my special series from the golfer's view. Here I explain and show you exactly what you need to look for when you're looking down on that golf ball. Because it's all well and good seeing me from this angle here and me telling you what to do. But you need to see it visually when you look down on that golf ball what you need to achieve. Before we start, welcome back. Please, 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 if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's hugely important you do that because it helps me to help you improve your golf game. Now today I'm going to bust a massive, massive myth here. Now a lot of people, if we look down on these, on these white lines just down here on the ground, okay, we feel a lot of golfers out there, not everyone, don't get me wrong, a lot of golfers think golf is a straight line sport. We go back straight and we go through straight. That keeps the ball on our line. Let's say this white line's our ball to target line. Let's say that ball, that line is on our target line, okay? But we've got to make sure... A lot of golfers out there think golf is a straight line sport. They think the golf club should go straight back and straight through. Don't get me wrong, not everyone's going to think that, but come on, put your hands up, admit it. You, most of you have done it before, thinking that it's straight line, st straight line sport. So we feel we've got to take the club straight back, straight through to get that ball onto its target line. But golf's not like that. The golf club is designed as an arc. Look, the handle is way behind and that golf club is way out in front of us. The golf club is an angle. So it, golf is an angular sport. What does that mean? Well, that means we've got to use it as it was designed. In other words, we have to take that club around on an angle and then around on an angle on the way through. And it only stays in a straight line for a very, very short amount of time coming into impact when it meets resistance with the ball and then the turf. So what we've got to try and make sure happens is that golf club goes around on an arc and then around on an arc. Now this is going to be very confusing to a lot of you, purely on the basis that you think, well, I'm going to, I've got to hit the target, the target's a straight line. Well, it's a side on sport, and as I say, the golf club's at an angle. So we've got to really override that embedded feeling that we've got in our mind that we feel that golf should be a straight back, straight through sport and make sure we're using the golf club as it was designed. It's an angle, so it has to travel back and around on an arc on the way through. And that club face beautifully closes on that way through and allows it to release and close on the way through. This might feel to some of you like the golf ball's gonna go all over the place, but trust it, trust the golf club, because the golf club does all the work for us. Remember, golf is a rotationary sport, it's not a straight back, straight through sport. And that to a lot of you, especially you beginners out there as well that have sort of a preconceived idea about what golf is, this is going to come as a bit of a surprise to you. So make sure you're rotating around in a circle and make sure you're rotating around in a circle on the way through. This is especially helpful if you suffer with the shanks. Because usually with the shanks, yes, the golf club might be going at an angle, but the problem is it's not mirroring the angle on the way through. In other words, if we rotate back and rotate through, we're matching the angle, so therefore it gets back to where we started. So we're setting up out the middle, and we get back to the middle if we rotate through. If we take it back too far inside and then go too far out, uh-oh, we got that heel end of that golf club. If your trouble is struggling for accuracy, this is going to help massively. Rotate back, rotate through to use the golf club as it was designed.